Azul Filawin and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I will be making Granteta, a meal that is quite popular in Algeria. It is best served in a baguette with harissa. Here are the ingredients. You will need 1 cup of chickpea flour, 2 teaspoons of cumin, half teaspoon of salt, half teaspoon of black pepper, 1 egg, 4 teaspoons of canola oil, 4 cups of water, and 1 cup of milk. For best results, preheat the oven to 100 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit at the beginning. In a stand mixer, add the chickpea flour, canola oil, cumin, salt, pepper, and an egg. Mix on low speed until all the ingredients come together like so. Pour the 4 cups of water and the cup of milk in slowly. Make sure to alternate between the liquids. Once all of the liquid is incorporated in the mixture, the mixture should be a pale yellow color. Coat a rectangular pan in canola oil or line it with parchment paper. Make sure to thoroughly clean the pan and if you use oil as I did, rub each side. Once the pan is prepared, pour in the granteta mixture. In an oven that has been preheated to 180 degrees Celsius or 350 degrees Fahrenheit, bake the granteta for about 20 minutes. It is ready when it is solid at the bottom and slightly liquid on the top. If you prefer a mushier granteta, you can bake it for less time, but I find 20 minutes to be just right. Cut the granteta into squares that are approximately 5 cm by 5 cm once it comes out of the oven. This is optional, but I like to serve my granteta in a baguette that has been warmed up in the oven. Take a part of the baguette and slice the middle in half so you can open it up in order to put the granteta and harissa inside it. I evenly apply the harissa to one side. If you cannot tolerate spice that well, cut back on the amount I am using because it is a fairly intense paste. Serve plain or with harissa in a baguette. Some people also like to serve granteta with crackers. And there you have it, granteta, a dish that is both incredibly tasty and simple, served in a sandwich. I recommend giving it a try. You never know, you could like it. In the description box below, there is a link to my website where I have this recipe written down in an easy to follow format, as well as the other recipe from my last video. That's all for now. See you next week.